It's the sound of metal. Pounding stakes, snipping wire. All of this to put up a message. We're a group of uh, 75 year olds and uh, we just enjoy getting out in the desert. We enjoy doing this kind of work. No one could pay us to do it, uh, but we just enjoy volunteer doing it. It's not just about putting the pedal to the metal. The Havasu Four Wheelers Club is also here to prevent accidents waiting to happen by fencing off Arizona's abandoned mines. It's an opportunity for us to do something safe, give back to the community, and maybe save somebody's life. The Arizona State Mine Inspector says there are thousands of mines like these that pose a threat to hikers and off-roaders. And since there are numerous challenges that make it difficult to close them off, that's where the Havasu Four Wheelers Club comes in. The ones we work on are, range anywhere from 20 to 250 feet. And sometimes you'll see debris piled up uh, 20 feet down and think that that's the end of the shaft. It's actually just a collection of dust and debris, and, and if you step on it, it'll collapse. According to the state mine inspector's office, 35 people have died in Arizona's abandoned mines since 1969. More than 20 people have been injured, including John Mardell, who recently survived a 50-foot fall into a mine shaft in West Maricopa County. The Havasu Four Wheelers Club works closely with the Bureau of Land Management. BLM told me that many of these club members have signed up as volunteers and they have done great work with the agency and we appreciate their efforts. We have a cooperative agreement, a volunteer agreement with BLM. They provide all of the materials and most of the equipment. They also give us technical advice and they accompany us out to, to make sure we're uh, being safe in what we're doing. Bowen, who is a club member, says the work they do is important because even they have had a close call. We had one of our club members, their grandson, in another location, was on a motorcycle and went in a hole like that. Sometimes it's hard work, but it's not really work. I mean, work is anything you do when you'd rather be doing something else. And a lot of us are out here because it's fun. In Lake Havasu City, Jordan Evans, Cronkite News.